Methane gas is a powerful greenhouse gas that is 21 times better at trapping heat than carbon dioxide. Scientists attribute about 15 to 25 percent of man-made global warming to methane emission. Now there are several factors that contribute to the accumulation of methane gas in Earth's atmosphere. Burning of fossil fuels, leaks from oil and gas drilling, but there's one that stands out from them all. Cow farts. Man, you gotta warn somebody before you just crack one off. My mouth was opening everything. Believe me, donkey, if it was me, you'd be dead. The slow digestive system of a cow causes the buildup of methane gas, so much so that a single cow can produce between 250 and 500 liters of methane gas a day. In Israel alone, there are about 200,000 cows. If you do the math, that comes out to 75 million liters a day, or over 1.6 million tanks for an average car. That's in Israel alone! The UN claims that 18% of the greenhouse gas problem is caused by livestock. In addition, cow manure is responsible for water pollution and acid rain. Seems like we have a problem. But what can we do? Maybe we can stop stuffing our faces with meat all the time. But we have another solution also. Here we found the farmer with a remarkable solution. The farmer collects his poo from his cows every day, ensuring a clean environment for his cows to lay. He then takes the dung and dumps it into a big tank of slurry. Then mixes it all around with a sewage pump to loosen things up. He then opens up a pipe so that the stool mix replaces the previous feces. The poop goes into a large plastic ball shaped chamber four meters under the ground. This chamber mimics the stomach of a cow and is full of anaerobic bacteria. In the stomach, the conditions are about 30 to 35 degrees, which in these conditions produce methane gas. Gas rises and is channeled into a small pipe where it is collected and goes into a big bag. He then built a system where a compressor pushes the gas out of the bag and into gas tanks. He then uses the gas to fuel and heat the products he produces, such as fruit leather, yogurts, and cheeses. They're not done just yet. After the methane gas is released, an organic fertilizer is left over. Liquid poop fertilizes all of this farmer's produce. Here he grows his strawberries in the winter and his cherry tomatoes in the summer. Each cow produces enough fertilizer for a dunum of crop, and instead of this crap seeping into the groundwater in a concentrated matter, it is spread out over a dunum of land. Between the greenhouse and the barn, a hard axe room gets built up in the sewage pipe, and it's filled with special surprises. Food for the fish pond! There you have it, a sustainable way of raising cows. From this process we have received fuel, fertilizer for our produce that works in an amazing way, and food for our fish ponds.